My fellow Americans, as President of the United States, it is my duty to bring you the bad news as well as the good news, and there is bad news. It has been brought to my attention that the world, or as we like to say here in Washington, D.C., Mother Earth, the world did not come to an end on May 21st of 2011, as far as we have been able to determine at this time. Now we had our budget figured out right up to 11.59 p.m. on May 21st. We came that close. We almost made it, but the world did not come to an end. And we are in deep doo-doo. But I would like to ask the Vice President to step up on the desk and say a few words. Another, another, another feature. Feature. Hey, can I borrow 20 bucks? I'm a little short. When I was a kid, I asked my dad, how come he never take me to the zoo? He said, if they want you, they'll come get you. They have a new restaurant in town. There's something wrong with the food there. Corn dog's not supposed to glow in the dark. There's something wrong with the food there. Spaghetti is not supposed to crawl off the plate. There's something wrong with the food there. When you stick your fork into a slice of ham, it's not supposed to oink. There's something wrong with the food there. I asked the waiter, how do you serve meatballs? He said, with a bat. There's something wrong with the food there. I ordered a tongue sandwich. It looked up at me and it went <clears throat> I bought a pressure cooker. It's pretty nice. Now I can lick the food right off the ceiling. Two old ladies are out walking in the woods. Their memories are not too good. First lady sees some tracks. She says, oh, I know what those are. Those are cow's tracks. I remember, those are cow's tracks. Second lady says, no, I remember. Those are moose tracks. I remember, those are moose tracks. First lady says, no, those are cow's tracks. I remember. Second lady says, no, those are moose tracks. I remember. Just then a train came along and ran over both of them. There was a farmer who used to go out to the barn every morning at 6 a.m. He would milk his cow every single morning. At 6 a.m., just like clockwork, he would milk his cow at 6 a.m. One day he had to get up early to go into town. He got up at 4 a.m., went out to the barn, started milking his cow. The cow looked back and saw him milking her. And the cow said, oh, thank heavens it's you there for a minute. I was afraid I was being robbed. I sneezed a sneeze into the air. It came to earth I know not where. But hard and cold were the looks of those in whose vicinity I snows. In California, they have freeways that have six lanes going north, six lanes going south, six lanes going east, and six lanes going west. You haven't lived until you've seen a 24 car head on collision. A guy goes in to take his driver's test. They ask him a few questions. They say, suppose you're driving along at the speed limit, 55 miles an hour. Straight ahead, you see a narrow bridge. There's no possible way you can get off the highway. And there comes a semi-truck right straight at you, 100 miles an hour. You can't get out of the way. What's the first thing you do? The man says, well, I'll lean over across the seat and I'll wake up my wife. The guy says, you wake up your wife? Why is that? He says, well, she's never seen an accident like this before. Lady's in the hospital, she's about to get an operation. The husband comes to visit her. The lady says, now, this operation's serious. I, I might not make it. And just in case I don't pull through, what I want you to do is find yourself a nice girlfriend. You can give her all my jewelry and my fur coat. The guy says, no, that, that won't work. And the lady says, well, why is that? He says, because you're a size 16, she's a size 10. So I was going with this girl for a couple of years, then the nagging starts. She says, I want to know your name. 
I know a guy who lost his wife in a wishing well. He didn't know they worked. If honesty is the best policy, then dishonesty is the second best.